In environmental engineering, we are challenged to make a positive environmental change to an issue that our town is faced with. Living in an ocean town where there is also a landfill, we have witnessed firsthand how many pollutants fall out of the dump trucks and end up along the roads, taped in trees, and eventually in the waterways. Visiting the beach all summer, we also see how much plastic pollution there is along the shore and in the water. An Eco Brick is a repurposed plastic bottle, such as a two liter soda bottle stuffed to maximum pressure with plastic bags. Plastic bags cannot be recycled unless they are brought to a specific facility or job op location. Therefore, plastic bags are often thrown away and can blow out of the trash, can, or dump truck and end in waterways where they leak toxins are consumed by sea life or entangle a sea creature and prevent it from being able to move. We also learned that in developing countries and communities without access to recycling, plastic accumulates in streets, di ditches, trees, and beaches. Some of these communities are actually making these bricks out of plastics that are polluting their drinking water and they are turning them into their houses. Since it takes plastic up to 500 years to decompose, eco bricks last longer than materials. They are accustomed to using build houses and at the same time they are helping to reduce the plastic pollutant and contaminating drinking water. The plastic in each eco brick benches weighs about 60 pounds. One pound of plastic takes 22 gallons of water to produce. Therefore, the plastic in one of our eco brick benches use 1,320 gallons of water. In addition to the water used to make this plastic, many more pounds of carbon dioxide were produced when making the plastics. Research varied from a 3-1 up to 6-1 ratio of 6 pounds of carbon dioxide to pounds of plastics. The carbon dioxide emissions equaled from 180 to 360 pounds to make the plastics that went into the eco brick bench. When researching the weight of the plastic bench that would be manufactured, the weight ranged from 72 to 244 pounds. Therefore, repurposing the plastic already made saved between 216 to 1,464 pounds of carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere. According to trvst.world, since the 1950s, we have produced about 8.3 billion tons of plastic worldwide, and 60% of that plastic has found its way to landfills or the natural environment. The life cycle of plastics affects, the cli affects climate change from pr production using non-renewable fossil fuels to disposal, even if recycled, which releases more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. In the past, plastic bags were easy to find because they were used in every grocery store. Since last March, however, New Jersey implanted the, implanted the plastic bag ban, so we thought it would be hard to find plastic film for our bricks. We decided to do a collection of plastics and see if it was possible. We asked the students in the cafeteria to give us their empty snack bags and teachers and staff to bring us as many plastic bags or packaging that they have at home. We were surprised to see much how plastic is still being used and how easy it was to collect this pollutant. We received se several cereal bags, snack bags, dog food bags, salt for our water softeners, Amazon and other shipment packaging, and fruit bags to name a few. The goal of this project was not only to reduce plastic pollution in the town, but also educate through displaying the projects in areas that students in the school and members of the community can see. We have now built three eco brick benches and have them on display at the school garden, the public library, and fulfill our local food bank. By making a bench, we have used over 4,500 pieces of plastic. This mini project kept over 60 pounds out of the plastic, out of plastic, out of the landfill, and potentially the ocean. With the plastic bag being out of oceans, this helps so many sea creatures that get stuck in plastic, like turtles, sea lions, dolphins, and seals. This project has taught us, our families, and community members about the negative effects of plastic and how we can help the environment by repurposing plastic that has already been made.